So I spent the last year with these keyboards, and since they gave me a very different experience, I wanted to share my thoughts on how to pick the right keyboard and how the right keyboard can have a considerable impact on your productivity and comfort. Hey guys, my name is Dami, and I'm an architect and YouTuber from Vancouver, BC, and I type a lot. <laughs> And today, with the help of my assistants, I want to show you which keyboard could be the right fit for you. This video is sponsored by Shortform. More on them later in this video. Times have changed. In the past, a keyboard was an essential peripheral. Before the mouse and UI were invented, there were no other ways to communicate with a computer. So that means no keyboard, no party. I don't even need a fancy keyboard. Who cares about colors anyway? Who cares about the switches? Shut, Shut up. up! But nowadays, the experience of buying a keyboard is a really tailored experience, and the level of aesthetic customization and tech and comfort options can be a little bit overwhelming. <laughs> So I chose these three keyboards because they provide a very diverse experience and they're based on different typing technologies. We've got the $10 wired membrane keyboard. I'm sure it works fine. The fully mechanical wireless Nufi Air 75. Sick! The HP 975, also wireless. Perfectly appropriate. Let's start with the generic wire keyboard. This is one of the cheapest models I was able to find on Amazon, and it costs approximately $10 USD. And you know what? It actually friggin' works. Like, there's zero setup time, there's no pairing, and you don't have to worry about charging the batteries. This version even has a small power button that can turn on your desktop computer, and it's also got two risers. All you need to do is plug the USB cable and you're pretty much good to go. And even as the most basic keyboard, as you'll see compared to other models, this one even has a light indicator that shows whether cap locks or other function are on. See, I told you, you don't need to spend money on a keyboard. But although it gets the job done, you are left with a bare minimum in terms of comfort and portability. The whole experience of typing on this keyboard, it does feel very plasticky and there's a lot of rattle coming from it. And it's also quite loud. If you need to connect this to a laptop device, you will need to sacrifice a USB port and possibly use a Type-C adapter. And of course, you can't connect it via Bluetooth to portable devices. Why isn't it working anymore? Ugh, stupid oh, keyboard. Sorry, I think I got distracted. <laughs> Idiots. And I know that the sound might not seem like a big deal, but when you're in a working situation and you're working around other people and you're working long hours, especially in stressful situations, that sound, it can get kind of irritating, especially if it's coming from someone who's sitting right next to you. And this might seem kind of like a minute detail, but the way that the space that you're working in is configured, like maybe the size of the room, that can all have an impact on the reverberation of the keyboard sound. Okay, let's talk about these two now. This lo-fi playlist is amazing. I'm ready. These two keyboards have one thing in common. They're both wireless and they both offer a lot of different functionalities and connectivity options. You can connect via Bluetooth, 2.4G wireless, and even a standard USB. The Nufi Air 75 allows up to four wireless connections at the same time, which means you can switch between different devices pretty seamlessly by using a keyboard shortcut. The HP 975 offers three wireless connections, two with Bluetooth and one with a wireless dongle. There's dedicated buttons with light indicators that show you which connection is currently active. And both of these keyboards also offer a USB Type-C port. This is really great in situations where you don't want to risk having any delay or connectivity issues. For example, if you're working with a client or if you're doing a presentation, the wired option gives you the peace of mind, so you don't really have to worry about battery or responsiveness. 
Does it mean better response time for gaming? Oh my god, grow up. Yes, of course. Okay, cut, let's have a break. As an architect and now a YouTuber, I'm always trying to absorb new information. I don't always have enough time to sit down and read a full length book. Short form has been great with that. Short form gives you super high quality guides to nonfiction books and their team of professional writers synthesize the information into a single page with very clear and concise explanations. They also have more in-depth guides that analyze how it compares to other commonly accepted ideas. For certain books, that's had a very big impact in my life. For example, Getting Things Done by David Allen. I like to read the short form summaries from time to time because your memory just isn't perfect and you will lose that information over time. Now, obviously short form is not a substitute for reading a full book, but you'd be surprised how many times I've been tricked into reading a full book that really could have been a one pager. So nowadays, every time I get interested in a book, I make sure to go into short form and read the guides first, just so that I know if it's gonna be worth the investment in my time. Also, they have a great app, and one of my favorite features is their audio library, which they're constantly updating, which means I can go for a run, and within like 30 minutes to an hour, I can get pretty much all the lessons that I need to from a book, which is awesome. Short form is one of those essential apps in my phone that help me accelerate my growth and learning. By joining through the link shortform.com slash you'll receive five days of unlimited access and an additional 20% discount off the annual subscription, which is gonna give you access to thousands of book guides for the price of just one book a month. Go check it out. But how does it actually feel to type on these keyboards? Oh my God, I feel like I'm entering a new world. I feel sharp and focused like a razor blade. The Nufi Air 75 is a fully mechanical keyboard. And when you get to the purchasing window, you can actually choose between the different types of switches. You can choose between linear, tactile, and clicky. I chose the red linear switch. It should be quieter than the tactile and the clicky switches, but I have to say it is louder compared to the HP 975 and other keyboards that I've tried. When I type with a mechanical keyboard, I feel a kind of a deeper connection to what I'm doing. Let me explain. It almost seems like Hearing some of that sound is first of all really satisfying, but when I press the keys, it makes me want to write more. When I'm writing, it's really hard for me to get into the zone and this haptic experience of the keyboard, it makes this a little bit more pleasant. And I can kind of only compare this to maybe the experience of writing with a fountain pen where you can really feel the drag and the sound of the pen scratching the paper. And it's just a totally different experience from writing with a ball pen. For me, these haptic experiences stimulate a part of the brain that help with the thinking process. In some ways, it feels almost like a tangible extraction of my thoughts. And so when you start using this mechanical keyboard, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be hooked not just for doing creative work, but for doing research or filling out forms or even leaving bad comments on YouTube videos. Typing on the new fee is an extremely haptic experience. The RGB lights, they interact with your typing movements. And especially when I'm typing at night in low light conditions, this just totally elevates my working experience. It really feels like you're becoming one with the document. What the hell are you doing? Mechanical keyboards offer a lot of customization, so you can really choose the one that suits you the best. There's a lot to talk about here, so 
All I can say without making a 30 minute video is that Nufi gave me the most engaging and sensual typing experience compared to these other models. For both the Nufi and the HP 975, there's power switches on the side of the keyboard and the Nufi also has a switch that switches between Mac and Windows. The HP 975 has scissor switches and produces a much quieter, clicky kind of sound. People working close to you will barely notice your typing and it's also very smooth and a comfortable experience. The biggest difference between the two is definitely the travel distance of the keys. Pushing a scissor switch almost feels effortless compared to the fully mechanical keyboard. But for me, pushing a mechanical keyboard is still a little bit more rewarding. So I've been using these two keyboards for almost a year now, and they're both really great at different tasks and situations, and also on your typing skills. The HP 975 is sleek and silent, and if you are someone who needs to look at the keys to type, it's really great for working in low light conditions. The key caps are optimized for being backlit, so you can actually see the lettering in the dark. Another cool thing, it's got a proximity sensor that turns on the backlight when your hands are approaching the keys. On the other hand, the RGB lights on the new fee are mostly decorative. They don't really improve the readability in low light conditions, as long as you're using non-transparent keycaps. And for me, it's not really a big deal because I usually type using muscle memory, but for those of you who need to look at the keys to type, this might be a bit of an issue. The biggest difference in terms of ergonomics is probably the positioning of the arrow keys and the full-size numpad on the right, which comes in really handy for me when I'm doing calculations or spreadsheets. Having a dedicated spot for the arrow keys makes it easier to find, and it's better when you're reviewing long documents or working with cells and, of course, for gaming. I don't find the arrows. The arrows find me. Clear and obvious. Just where I like my arrows. The Nufi Air 75 instead has a much more compact and portable design. It's optimized more for improving the typing experience for laptop keyboards and other smaller devices. It's got a premium aluminum body and a set of special rubber feet that lets you overlay it on top of your laptop without interfering with the keys underneath. There's an optional sleeve that you can use both as a protective case and as a stand for tablets and smartphones. This is great when you're traveling and if you have to type for an extended period of time on small devices. The HP 975 seems better as a replacement for a desk keyboard since it's considerably longer and it's got a more professional look. I love that it has a lot of function keys that you can customize through the app. Battery life is pretty good on both devices, but it could really vary based on your usage. For example, if you use it with RGB or backlight all the time, it could drain the battery a little bit faster. But for me, I haven't charged it for weeks and it seems like it's still going. Trying to decide on a $100 plus keyboard may seem like a first world problem, but it is true that a keyboard is something that we use for eight hours a day, almost every day. And so having one that suits our needs and makes the typing experience more pleasant is definitely not just a luxury, but it is an investment that you should take some time to consider. For me, there's no clear winner. I I'm constantly switching between them, based on whether I'm doing creative work or traveling or office work. Let me know in the comments what type of keyboard you use. Also, I have some great content about architecture and design and creativity. I'll leave a playlist right here. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm not really made for this. Can you repeat that? Can you please be quiet? I'm trying to focus here. PDF me? What, what do you mean PDF me? Nobody PDFs me! Don't you dare say you're gonna PDF me!